Marriott Vacation Club made some big announcements this week about Abound by Marriott Vacations. Today we're going to be talking about 10 things we now know about the Abound program. Hello, hello, I'm Jeremy, your host here on Destination Timeshare, the YouTube channel bringing you all of the tips, strategies, and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. Today I'm actually releasing two videos. One video here that we're talking about right now for Marriott Vacation Club owners and how Abound will impact them, the 10 things you need to know. And another video for Vistana owners. So if you happen to own Vistana, well, you're not in the right video, but feel free to watch this one anyway. And then when you're done watching this one, check out the video, the link right up here, it will take you to the one for Vistana owners. If you happen to own both systems, well, make sure you watch both of the videos that I've released today. Marriott Vacation Club released a lot of information, big FAQ, number of tutorial videos as well, and a page dedicated to providing more information about Abound by Marriott Vacations. And I'm here to help you decipher what it all means. So today we're gonna to be going over 10 things that we now know about Abound. Number one just happens to be that the new name for the combined program with Vistana and Marriott Vacation Club, being Western Vacation Club, Sheraton Vacation Club, and Marriott Vacation Club is indeed abound by Marriott Vacations. The program really isn't any different. In fact, it's the same as the Marriott Vacation Club Destinations program. They're just giving it a new name called abound. Now on to number two, what was previously called vacation club points, or what a lot of people actually refer to as destination club points, are actually now just going to be referred to as club points. Nice and simple, club points, that's all it is. Now for number three, we actually know how many points it will take to book Sheraton and Weston Vacation Club properties. Mary Vacation Club actually released points charts for all of the Vistana properties, and I actually have them printed out right here, but, if you wanna find out what it will cost to book a Vistana, whether it be Sheraton Vacation Club, Weston Vacation Club, or even Vistana Beach Club using club points, well, you'll wanna log into the Marriott Vacation Club website, go to resources, go to helpful tools, and check out the points charts. The Weston and Sheraton Vacation Club properties are available in the dropdown, and you must be looking at year 2000 and 23 or later. Next up is number four, and that just happens to be that it won't cost anything extra to book or be able to reserve Weston and Sheraton Vacation Club properties with club points. There is no additional buy-in, no fee to be paid. Don't believe what the salespeople might be telling you because ultimately there is no incremental cost, no additional fee, no purchase requirement. If you're currently enrolled in the Marriott Vacation Club Destinations program, either through enrolled weeks or you own trust points, well, later on this year, you're going to actually be able to book those properties with a bound club points. Okay, next up is number five, and that just happens to be that the club fee for 2023, which will be billed later this year in 2022, is actually going to be increasing. That fee will be going up by $15. The fee previously was anywhere from $215 to $280 based on your Marriott Vacation Club owner benefit level. And now it will be anywhere from $230 to $295. So pretty big increase in that annual club fee to be able to participate in a bound. The next one here I really do like, and that's because we are actually owners of Marriott Vacation Club, and we also own some vacation ownership interests with Vistana Signature Network. And it is good for us because ultimately, if you own in both systems and you are enrolled and eligible to participate in a bound with what you own in Marriott and Vistana, well, you're gonna be able to combine your total points value from all of those vacation ownership interests weeks, points, flex, whatever it might be, and those will count towards the owner 
benefit levels in a bound. And you might even save on some additional fees when they consolidate the club fees over on the Vestana side and eliminate all of those a la carte fees. That of course only does apply to owners that own within both systems, which is us. And we really do like that. And you know what else I'd like? I'd love it if you would hit that thumbs up button down below on in this video. Really does help out these videos and I would certainly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now on to the seventh thing that we know about Abound by Marriott Vacations and how it impacts Marriott Vacation Club owners. Well, it just so happens that you won't be able to actually start making reservations for Sheraton and Weston Vacation Club properties until later this year. Expected to be in October 2022 for the use year of 2023. Now there are a couple of caveats to that and that leads us on to number eight and that just happens to be that Harborside Resort at Atlantis and the Weston Riverfront properties will not be available in a bound on its initial outset. They do plan on trying to bring these into the system in the future, but there are some nuances to those properties in the fact that they actually have outside investors that developed those properties. So there's some additional work to do there to bring Harborside Resort at Atlantis and the Weston Riverfront properties into a bound. And that brings us on to number nine. The next caveat here is that they actually expect Vistana, whether it be Sheraton Vacation Club or Weston Vacation Club inventory to be pretty extremely limited in the new system, at least through 2023 and even beyond that. And that's because in order for inventory to be available from Weston and Sheraton properties in a bound, it will require Vistana owners to actually elect club points for their vacation ownership interest. And by the time they get this rolled out, it will be October, 2022. Most Vistana owners have already made vacation plans for 2023. They are gonna be granting them an extension to be able to elect vacation club points through December 31st, 2022. But many people have already made plans. Many people have maybe even already booked airfare. So expect inventory for Sheraton Vacation Club, Western Vacation Club to be very limited in 2023. And also consider even beyond that, that this is fairly new to Vistana owners. Someone might be hesitant to elect club points. They prefer the current system that they have of maybe reserving their week or using their star options in their existing Vistana signature network. So they may be a little hesitant to convert to a bound points. So consider and realize you might not be able to make that Weston Maui property reservation, that Weston Kierland property reservation, maybe some of those peak properties or even some of the other properties will be probably fairly difficult to get reservations for at least in the outset of the new program. Now, as time goes by, maybe three, four or five years after people have kind of been using the program a fair bit, inventory will be a little bit better and you might be able to get those reservations a little bit easier, but at least from the outset, they've made it pretty clear that they don't expect a lot of inventory to be available for bound members to make reservations at Sheraton and Weston Vacation Club properties. Okay, now on to number 10, the last one here, and this is probably maybe the biggest kind of negative here for Marriott Vacation Club owners in a bound, and that is you won't be able to make interval international exchanges using a bound club points for Vistana properties, whether it be Weston Vacation Club or Sheraton Vacation Club resorts. Previously and even currently, you can take club points and exchange them through Interval International into Sheraton and Weston Vacation Club resorts. In fact, even for a zero exchange fee. Well, once they bring this all together, that restriction that currently exists for trading club points into Marriott properties, which you can't do through Interval International, well, that will be expanded to Weston and Sheraton properties as well. 
So a bit of a drawback, it does remove your ability to make exchanges into those resorts through Interval International for a zero exchange fee, but you will be able to trade your club points through a bound for those properties instead. So that's just a quick list here of 10 things that you need to know about a bound now as it impacts you potentially as a Marriott Vacation Club owner. In fact, I'd like to let you know, I actually have a full playlist of abound videos. So if you wanna see any other videos about abound, I will put a link to one right up here and YouTube. They think you'll like that video down there. And to see more videos all about timeshare, check out the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, remember, the best destination is always a timeshare.